Hello! How are you doing? I thought I would come on today because the weather is crazy, crazy, hit and miss, one minute sun shining, the next minute gale force winds and it's hammering down. Um, blow dried my hair for the second time today after getting it done yesterday and that's it, I've just given up, going on the turbo later. Anyway, I thought I would do a quick video on one of my most asked questions, which is around things like saddle sores um, and how to combat saddle pain and things like that because I shared quite a lot on my Instagram stories um, and Instagram that I've been having some saddle issues um, ever since I'd kind of increased the mileage getting ready for dragon ride um so i thought i'd have a bit of a chat about what i've done to kind of help fix it help combat it um, and pass on any kind of tips that i've learned along the way um one of the first huge pieces of advice that i got from one of my friends who's been cycling for a long time was to not worry about what saddle other people are using um, and that is something that i get quite a lot as well from other people is what saddle do you use now what kind of helps solve your problem um and i think the first thing to just address is every beautiful bum is completely different so what saddle might work well for me and the, the shape and the size of my bum and my sit bones um might not necessarily work for someone else i was obsessed with getting intel on what was coming out as like a top rated saddle i think it is quite interesting to hear um what name and what brand comes up quite a lot so i did hear quite a lot about specialized saddles uh, the specialized mimic um, I think the Specialized Mirror, a couple of Salitalias were recommended. Um, and yeah, you hear the same brands coming up time and time again. But I think what I would say about that is if you do keep hearing the same names, don't just automatically assume that that saddle or that particular brand is going to be perfect for you. Um, the next thing is to really, really consider getting a bike fit. Um, and if you've already had a bike fit, but maybe didn't have a saddle fit included as part of it, I would definitely, definitely recommend having a specific saddle fit. Um, you can get things like pressure mapping. There's a lot of kind of debate about whether the pressure mapping, you know, works and if it's really that helpful. But the most helpful thing is just actually getting your sit bones measured, which is obviously the two points of your bum, the spikier points, if you like, um, and getting the distance between them measured so you know what size saddle would be best for your sit bones and where you're kind of positioned on the bike. Um, loads of places do them. I can put a few links of places that I found on um, online in the description below. Uh, but I would highly recommend going in, getting your, taking your bike with you, getting your sit bones measured um, and doing that prior to getting them actually properly measured i was so desperate to kind of figure it out after a few quick googles um isaac actually had me sitting on tin foil at one point so i could get the impressions on my sit bones and then we measured like the centimeters in between um and funnily enough we did actually get like quite an accurate read but there are machines and simple ways to do that professionally and properly so don't sit your ass on tinfoil, go and see someone and get them properly measured. Um, and then that will kind of help give you a view as to what size saddle you should try. Um, and then I guess the next thing is definitely invest in a good pair of bib shorts. So the more riding you do, the longer time in the saddle, the more you're gonna be prone to kind of experiencing higher pressure, um, perhaps more friction. So you wanna be making sure that the bibs that you're in are kind of the best set for you. Um, and I've been finding this as kind of trial and error. So as time's gone on, I've spent you know a bit more time in the saddle. So I've invested in more bib shorts. Um, and what I've been looking for when I'm buying bibs is definitely a lot of chat in the in the description of the bibs around like performance uh chamois um the thickness of it any kind of special attention where it's maybe female specific um and well thought out so a lot of brands that i've tested have been things like the map 2.0 bibs which are super expensive but the chamois is pretty good on them um also highly recommend the Bela bibs they have quite a lot of thick padding kind of on the sit bone which i've shown before i think on one of my previous videos for dragon ride and they are the ones that i wore for that uh 215 kilometer ride definitely still had saddle pain at the end of that but i'll come on to other things that i've now put into the mix as well but yeah, highly recommend 
trial and error in terms of like super thick rib shorts. Another brand that has been recommended is um, ASOS or ASOS, um, ASOS double S, not ASOS, like the fashion um, house. But yeah, ASOS, so those brand, those bibs have been recommended quite a lot in terms of performance. Who else comes up quite a lot? A few of the Raf, sometimes the Rafa Pro stuff, but I've not, I've not actually tested Rafa Pro bibs. Um, I'll put a list of things that you can maybe have a look at and look at the price points and see what you think. But I do think this is a bit of trial and error. As these um, videos go on, I will test more bib shorts for longer distances and give a bit of feedback. But again, every butt is different. Next thing to consider is definitely, definitely a bit of bum cream chamois cream so i remember when i first started riding i just thought oh i don't need that like definitely don't need it isaac can put it on but i'm not gonna give it a go but i have since used it and it is such a game changer now this one is the asos um of switzerland female formula chamois cream so i've picked this up actually in i think it was in gran canaria at the start of the year um and this has lasted me so well since jan like obviously you know still looked don't know if you can see still quite a bit in the pot there uh, the reason why I like this one is it's nice and thick and it's like and it's long lasting and um, I also like the fact that it's fragrance free so no tingling on your bits and I think that's something to look out for both as a female and a male with sensitive skin Um, this does say female formula but I think you can get some creams which are just kind of sheer butter or less fragrance so it's a little bit a little bit more gentler on your sensitive parts but this one is fab I've also used the Rafa um, cream so again this one is hydrating olive oil and shea butter this one's a little bit thinner um but has does stand the test of time and has been super good and what i tend to do is i get a lot of questions about where to apply how to apply do you put it on the bib short as well so my personal preference is to go onto the skin so on the bits that i the areas that i tend to get affected the most so just kind of in the crease of the butt um but a lot of people do also tend to put it on their bibs as well so i think maybe a, a gentle layer depending on how long you're going to go or whatever you need might work but you obviously don't want to be filling your bibs with cream and um, want it kind of seeping out the bibs do you um, and what I've been finding as well is applying this before a ride and then also taking these and now this flight friendly sachet. I think I was in a Rutland cycling and they were on a stand um, just as a trial, but these are from Velo Skin. So I've not actually tried their pot of chamois cream before, but yeah, like I say, these were at the tail. Um, so I just bought a load of packages of these, uh, flight friendly, and they are so handy. So now I never leave without putting one of these in the back of my um, jersey. And then I just, if we have a cafe stop, I'll just open it, reapply it, fold it over, take it back home in my jersey. And this has honestly been a godsend. I'm going to bulk buy these. Um, you can get them online, so I'll link them. Uh, and then there's also another brand as well, which I've seen, which have these these flight friendly sachets and oh my god they are the one um so i will yeah i'll pop a link to these to try below and i found the thickness of this uh spot on like absolutely spot on and again no kind of like tingling as well so ideal and then yeah i think it you know it's a case of just finding your flow so for me i tried bib shorts i experimented with how often i might need a bit of cream um got me saddle fit and then even just to add once you've had a saddle fit i think it's just um accepting that it's kind of trial and error as you go with the bike as well so you could get it fitted and what a bike fitter will do is find the perfect degree that your saddle should be and what you realize is it literally could be tiny tiny adjustments to the saddle that will make such a difference so always take tools as well when you're when you're riding your bike like a little mini multi-tool that will enable you to move the saddle if you do feel any pain and um, because what we've tended to do on rides is if it does feel like it's hurting more than normal and i've got my best bibs on i've creamed up we will just slightly tweak the saddle uh, just in case it's moved back but again someone giving you a proper bike fit will really really help with that and then yeah i think over time it's just basically finding your flow um, and allowing rest if you do suffer from them, if they do creep up from time to time and irritate your backside, have a little break, see if you can just air them out, give your butt a breather um, and in time they do heal. But it's an absolute nightmare like fuming that we have to go through male or female, any kind of pain to enjoy the bike. You just want to be out for hours without getting butt sores. Um, but yeah, those are my top tips. So in a nutshell, Get yourself a saddle fit, 
do not be obsessed with what other saddles people are riding on because it's going to be so unique to you and your own peach. Use chamois cream. Do not be afraid of it. Whack it on. Um, and yeah, find, find some bibs that are the best bibs that are going to suit you and your shape and the distance of riding that you're going to be doing. Um, and yeah, I will put some more links for you to have a look at below and I hope that helps. See you soon. If you do like what you see, please would really appreciate any kind of likes and subscribes. Um, so yeah, do pop a finger on that little subscribe button below and see you soon.